Top tips for the Millennium Alliance business. Yeah, I think it's to realize what distinguishes you as an organization. There's a lot of information out there. There's a lot of people that want to try and bring others together, which is great. A lot of people are trying to do the right thing. But there's so many of those events or news sources that uh, the, the key people need to be selective on what matters to them. And so figuring out what it is that has really distinguished you from the rest and why people are attending uh, I think would be great. My, my take as a former CISO and someone who's seen the event layout, it is really the quality of the people, um, the intimate size of the event. And choosing wonderful locations, of course, doesn't hurt either. Uh, so yeah, figure out what works and stay true to that. Realizing that uh, scaling is great, but not at, the, um, not at sacrificing what really matters. The one piece I would say, and it's probably the piece of advice that uh, most organizations should follow, is really listen to its constituents. Um, and if you're listening to your constituents, getting feedback from them, uh, you'll always be able to improve your content, develop the content, and deliver on what they're looking for. And if you can achieve that, then you will continue to grow successfully. I think it would be good to really look into how to go across verticals to think very critically about that because as we talked about the transformation of enterprises in this digital era that we're in is really happening across the entire enterprise and so the more that we can think through how to get C-suite members from across the different verticals in the same room and talking about uh, how they're having a more holistic and comprehensive approach the better they will be able to implement the, the type of transformation that we're trying to seek. Continue to think broadly with respect to the communities, that means the, the, the organizations and types of uh, executives that you're trying to engage in, the, in, your, in your work. And to see if there's any ability to sort of cross-pollinate some of these spaces. And they may already be doing some of that, um, but if the, if the health people are only going to the health conferences and the marketing people are only going to the marketing conferences, that's great, but is there any benefit to the, any of the marketing people lending their expertise to the health stuff or any of the health people lending their expertise to the digital stuff? I don't know. I'm just wondering whether or not there are opportunities for what we refer to as cross-pollination, if you will, which I know that you guys think about, but see if there's some opportunity within the communities that you're already creating to do more of that. That would be great. I think the focus and commitment to keeping events small or intimate, not big, that's really a gap that's in the market, that people really get much more out of these uh, curated events, that they are manageable in size, that they provide deep value and deep connection. That's really why people go, right? They want, they have problems to solve, they have a network they want to connect with or would like to connect with, and then also the learning piece, right? To keep the quality consistent and to keep that mission uh, at the core of what you do. Particularly when we're looking at business, my personal philosophy is that we should operate in a win-win-win scenario. Uh, that's always worked best for me, and that's a formula uh, that works for me and my business, and I think Millennium is really trying and does do the same thing, right? So the idea is we bring our peer group together so that they're gonna learn and be educated for our sponsors, and I love that piece of really curating the sponsors or the solution providers to what the end users need, the true needs, because I'm a technologist at heart and I really more of a translator between technology and end users is that that bridging that gap of communication and serving the need because we are in a technical you know world now, digital world, right? So really um, providing value between those two two points. And last being that Millennium, you know, feels that they have won by bringing together a great group and producing a great event, providing great value to the community. So I would say laser focused on that mission. Well, I'd say in 2019, I would love to see a focus on voice and the power of voice to transform personalization, how we engage, how, we, uh, how it transforms wearables, uh, search, um, health, uh, marketing all sectors. Uh, voice is going to be uh, electric, uh, if not this year, in the coming years. And I think we uh, at the Millennium Alliance should be all over voice.